In this episode of OS First Timer, Dyna is going to be unboxing and testing out the Oppo AX5 which can be bought in Australia for only $379, equivalent to $270 US dollars. We'll be testing out the ColorOS 5.1 operating system, comparing the camera to one on an iPhone 7 Plus, and even perform a strange test to see if someone can unlock your phone using your face while you sleep. Is this phone decent or is it cheap for a reason? Keep watching to find out. So here we are, we've got Dad's old phone here, which is the Samsung Galaxy S5. And the next phone here is my phone, the iPhone 7 Plus. Yet Dad is updating his phone to the Oppo AX5, which is basically a phone that really focuses on strong battery life. I've never heard of an Oppo before. <laughs> well, the thing about the Oppo that I'm mainly worried about is, unfortunately... It's like I've, an iPhone. Yeah, it is. It's, it very much focuses on iPhone-like, and I'm going to have to try and find a case for it. I've called all these stores everywhere, and it seems like nobody has an Oppo case, so we might even have to try and get a case for it online. Now, what's the first thing we have here? A case! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> A <laughs> case. You're kidding me. It actually comes. Thing we thing. won't have to go and get a case for it then. And it's got like all these little slips and stuff like that. So it's very, very Apple-like so far out of the box. Now here is the phone itself. So there's an option of two colours he could have gotten. There was either blue or pink. I think the pink would have suited him better. <laughs> so you can see it's got this kind of diamondy blue design on the back. This phone here is worth $380, yet this one here is, if you bought it today, $929. So we're literally looking at a price difference here that's almost three times greater. And as you can see, the Oppo here has four gigs of RAM, and mine's only got three gig, 64 gigs of space, and mine's only 32 gig. So already it's beating my phone in a few respects. Does it have a screen protector on it? Oh my God. And it actually already has a screen protector on it and applied out of the box. This is actually powered by Android, but it runs something called Color OS, and a lot of people actually don't like Color OS. It's very Apple-like, you'll notice. The screen size on this is a 5.5-inch screen, while the screen size on this is 6.2-inch screen. So you can see that the screen, even though these phones are about the same size, this phone has an actual larger screen on it. So we're going to need Ben for this part. Enroll facial info. You're keeping your face in that circle. Face recognition. It's recognizing your face. But what if he gets a haircut or he gets a there plastic you go. surgery and changes his face? Well, the plastic what surgery. If he shaves? No, the shaving is fine. The haircut oh, is fine. Press on. Wearing a hat is fine. Yet yeah, turn it on. But what if he gets plastic surgery to move his eyes further apart or closer together? <laughs> <Let's just laughs> it's fine. Update the face <laughs> thing. But you can't once it's it, as you know, as you get older, every time you unlock it, it recognizes your new face because you get a new face constantly. But somebody could steal it and then do no, it no, but it has to look somewhat face. similar. What if mum had to use that phone? How she used she will she just hold it? No, 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 no. We're gonna have that feature just disabled. Your head, hold we're it just, like that in front we're of gonna it. have that feature disabled. Okay, this is just for the video. Okay, so it says, Welcome, start your wonderful color OS journey. So here we go. Here's a little comparison of all the screens here. Looks very much like an iPhone. Yeah, it does have that kind of iPhone feel like it's it. even got the little iPhone mm. button there, but it's a pretend. Press that on an iPhone to get out and that in get out. But the screen, just so you know, is actually brighter in real life than it is on camera. It does look quite dark on camera on the Oppo phone. Good. So I'm trying to unlock, but it says face does not match. Can you just quickly look at the phone? Oh. There you go, thanks. Oh. I didn't even see anything happen. Swipe up to open. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. It just, it detects your face. So I that literally... means I can't look at... No, 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 but we're going to get rid of that feature. That's you, know just so don't know. Really, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? While he's sleeping, I can put the phone up to his face, <laughs> then go away and do what I need no, to do on it. I wonder if it, it detects if the eyes are open. Eyes are shut, but there work. you go, you can see... We should test it phones. out. It's pretty much similar to the thickness of those phones. Now, the big important thing about this phone, though, for Ben, is the battery. The battery in the Oppo phone is... It's a 4930 mAh battery, while the iPhone is 2900 mAh. So it's generally got a much larger battery than any of these other phones. I actually want to test out and see whether if he's sleeping in the bed at night and I put the thing up to his face, and then I go away and I can do what I need to do on his phone. I mean, people are going to abuse this if that's the case. <laughs> okay. We need to see if the eyes have to be open. Or okay. well, actually, while they're sleeping, you could actually open the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They'll notice. <laughs> Not if they're in 
in a deep sleep. <laughs> I love how though it comes with the screen protector. Yeah, we thought we were And it have comes to get with it. a case. Like I literally was calling all these places. It's so hard to find cases and stuff for Oppo phones. So there we go. That is the phone in the case. Just before we move on, let's take a little look at what else we've got in the box. We have got the charger and the cord for the charger. So here is the weirdest scene ever in a phone review. We have a simulation of Ben sleeping. And let's just say the nosy wife wanted to see what was going on in this phone. So we know the face does not match. There you go, you did it. <laughs> was his eyes closed? Yeah, they were closed. So it worked with eyes closed and so you got in. You, that's how the nosy wife can so get if, into the husband's phone dead. and make sure that they're, <laughs> they're not misbehaving. Yes, yeah, so even if they're dead, you can still get their phone open. Let's That's try one more news. time. So really have your... Go, and do, do the snoring and all sorts of stuff. Yep, worked. And it took... You, do you notice how long it takes? It only takes about half a second or so to detect the face. Snoring like an idiot. Maybe you could put a teddy bear so you recognise it as a teddy bear. No, it's got to be your face. So there you go. Okay. That's how you can do it. So the charger itself actually looks like it's a micro USB. So now just plug the phone in and we'll check out the rest tomorrow. And another thing to point out is the fact that just like the iPhone 7 Plus, it's got a dual lens camera. What do you think of that? That's pretty impressive. What phone would you get? Oh, the iPhone, right. So Oppo comes with something called Clone Phone, so I'm just installing it and allowing access on his old phone. So it'll basically transfer everything off his Samsung Galaxy onto this phone. Okay, so I just say this is the new phone. Import from an Android device, and I'm gonna scan this little code. There we go, connecting. And it basically says transfer all the contents of this phone to the new phone, contacts, messages, call history, photos, videos, music, system data, all of that, start cloning. Now everything's been successfully transferred. So all those apps like 8ball, Pool and Ashfield Aid and stuff are transferred to his new phone, as well as all his contacts and so on. I've just put in the 64 gig SD card and SIM from his old phone into the Oppo phone. Okay, now to test it out. And calls work. So in front of you there, you've got the iPhone 7 Plus, 32 gig, the Oppo AX5, and of course the Samsung Galaxy S5, which was Dad's old phone. Now in regards to the iPhone and the Oppo, both these phones are on the lower ending of pricing and quality in regards to their own company's lineup, although the budget iPhone here is two and a half times more expensive than the budget Oppo phone. Apple is seriously tricking people into thinking its iPhone 7 Plus, 32 gig is a budget phone, priced at $929 just because its top phone, the iPhone XS Max 512GB, costs $2,369 in Australia. By comparison, the most expensive Oppo phone is the Oppo Finder X 256GB at $1,299. So, so far, comparing these phones, Oppo is the cheaper one, so it's winning the price race. So, in all honesty, the Oppo was named the Oppo because it's an opportunity for people who can't afford iPhone or who don't see the value in an iPhone. I don't know if that's exactly where the word Oppo comes from, but okay, let's continue on. Storage wise, iPhone 7 is 32 gig. On the Oppo there, you've got 64 gig plus micro SD. Resolution wise, iPhone wins because its resolution is 1080 by 1920, while the Oppo only is 720 by 1520. So the Oppo there, that would be the one thing putting me off that phone if I was to buy that phone, the resolution. Mm -hmm. Now, in regards to screen size, the iPhone is 5.5 inches, while the Oppo is 6.2 inches. So the Oppo has a larger screen and turn the phones both on. Yeah, and then swipe up. So what do you notice about the screens? The Oppo doesn't have the black thing at the bottom and the top. Yeah, so it's basically almost like a full screen display, although it does yeah. have a notch at the yeah. top, as you can see, where the camera and stuff is oh, stored. That, that doesn't matter. It's only a little tiny thing. So overall, Oppo did actually get a lot better scores in all of these things, even though it's two and a half times cheaper than the iPhone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to do some tasks now. Let's say you wanted to know what the weather was today. What's the temperature? Uh, well, I have to go into On both the Oppo and the iPhone. Oh, weather. So there we go, Hobart, 16 degrees. What about on the Oppo? What do you think the weather is? Well, there's no cloud. 
but it says weather. Out of those two apps, the weather app on both the Oppo and the well, iPhone, which do you like the look of better? Whichever one's telling the truth here, because one says Hobart is 16 and the other one says Hobart is 18. They're obviously getting them off different One sources. says it's partly cloudy and one says it's cloudy. What do you like the interface of better out of these two apps? The iPhone I actually the prefer the iPhone because I like the cloud in the background. The kind going. of animated look, it's, yeah. To me, I mean, what's this, this windmill here going by? I mean, <laughs> well, and I like this one too because to have these images of the sun and the cloud and, you know, all this sort of stuff with a background that is an actual real-life sky, it just looks nicer. Okay, get out of both those apps. Okay, let's say now you wanted to calculate something. How do you think you'd calculate something? Yeah, where's the calculator? You'll notice on the Oppo the calculator's actually in it like a little folder called Tools. And do you notice the folder is very similar to iPhone folders? Well, the calculator looks different too. It doesn't actually have a picture of a calculator. It just has the plus, minus, over, and yeah. equals. I prefer the look of... The Oppo is saying 9 plus 5, but with mm. the iPhone you do 9 plus 5 and it kind of gets rid of it. Yeah. What do you prefer? Do you prefer it showing the whole calculation? I think or I do prefer like... it showing actually to tell. I, I prefer the look of the iPhone calculator, but that could be because I'm just used, used to, to it. it. Yeah. Whereas I do prefer it showing the calculation that you're trying to do because that way if you've typed in the wrong thing, you can see yeah, straight away. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay, and then just press equals. There we go. Oh, I'm thing. glad they equaled the same thing. I'd be worried <laughs> if they didn't. <laughs> so. Swipe the Oppo like to the first page. You've actually got that on both. Yep, yep, yep. That, you can see how Oppo kind of copied Apple there. Let's say you wanted to put something into a folder, like you wanted to make a folder. Try and make a little folder with an app on the iPhone. Let's say you wanted to put calculator and settings on the iPhone in the same folder, mm -hmm. on iOS 12. I know, I don't normally do that. Um, let's have a look. Well, they're do both on the same folder? page. Let's say there's no folder, let's say you try and create one. Oh, I don't know how to. There's a folder here. Try Maybe not. I can move that folder onto that no, one. you can't. Maybe you sort of like touch one mm -hmm. and then sort of put it in with another. Hold it for a bit longer. Oh, and that's how you make So it. I was kind of on the right yeah, track, so but just I just didn't do it long together. enough. Yeah, okay, and then you can get out of that. And let's say you wanted to make a folder on the Oppo phone. Oh, you can name the folder if you want to. Folder. There we go. So you made a folder. Let's say you wanted to do the same on an Oppo phone. Move it. There we go. Did so the it's the same, same kind of but process. But it named it folder. Oh, it did remembered. it? remembered. <laughs> I didn't even think it named it remembered folder. from when I was doing oh, it on the iPhone. Okay. See, it really is a smartphone. <laughs> so it's almost exciting. like it's predictive. It like guesses yeah. what you're going to do. Okay. But it's so smart, it just knew that I was going to call it folder. Because yeah. it, <laughs> it saw me do it on the iPhone, so it thought, oh, well, I'll be one step ahead of the iPhone. <laughs> it's enjoying yeah. getting more oh, points. <laughs> let's say you wanted to change some settings in the phone. Let's say you wanted to go to settings and change the brightness. How do you think you'd do that? Open settings on the iPhone too, just so we can have a little comparison here. What do you notice about that? One has Ben, one has Philip. Yeah, but they're very similar. <laughs> Let's say you went to settings on Ben's old phone. See how it's very different? Notice how Oppo follows the look of iPhone, even though technically the Oppo phone there is running Android, just like Samsung is, because ColorOS is based off Android. It tries to focus more on being like an iPhone. Have you noticed? A hundred percent. I mean, look, these are both Androids. They look nothing like, that looks more like Yeah, that. exactly. But people don't like ColorOS. Literally, that's one of the things that are putting most people off Oppo at the moment because yeah. they don't like ColorOS. With Android, you could actually make the Android, get a skin and theme and a springboard and do all this crazy stuff to actually make that Android phone look a lot more similar to iPhone, but the Oppo yeah. doesn't really let you customise that much and prefers that you stick with their ColorOS. I like this. Feel. Do not disturb quiet time <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's similar some sometimes they call things different okay let's say you wanted to change the brightness um how would you do it on all three phones okay display and brightness cooler or warmer i haven't heard of that before uh, don't worry about cooler and warmer just let's say yeah there we go and then put the brightness back up and That's easy. let's say you did it in the iphone oh display and brightness yeah and there you go what about the samsung display brightness Okay, there we go. Was that pretty simple to you? Yeah, I, I found it, yeah. yeah it's okay. logical. Still logical, but 
out of the two, you see how I the Oppo really follows the iPhone very, very well there. Yeah. Okay, let's say you wanted to turn the phone quickly into aeroplane mode. You know how you can swipe oh, yeah. up on an iPhone? Oops. Oh, that's not it. Oh no, uh, aeroplane. Aeroplane is the aeroplane, yep. yep. Okay, let's say on the Oppo you want to make aeroplane mode. Can't do it that way, but you can do it if you swipe from the top. Oh. There you go. Is that and then you, you can do, do the aeroplane mode. Is Which it there? Is the aeroplane. There's a few extra options here. So if you wanted this aeroplane mode here, you can actually move that up if you think that's more important to have aeroplane mm -hmm. mode up. No. no. Maybe swipe from the top. But there's no aeroplane. <laughs> it's somewhere. There you go, and it's somewhere in there. There it is, flight mode. Anyway, let's They obviously it don't consider flight mode very important because you've got to sort of search for it, whereas there it's flick up instant. How often are you catching planes? No, but sometimes, like for instance, when you go for a walk, you have it in aeroplane mode because you don't like the radiation near your body. So sometimes, <laughs> and at night, sometimes I want to sleep with it next to my bed, you know, on my bedside table, but not have all that radiation going yeah. to my head. Okay. So yeah, maybe even every day. So to finish off now, let's have a little look at the actual camera on the Oppo phone. Open the camera on all of them actually. So let's open up camera on all the oh, phones. Yeah. It's here? Yeah. Is that the camera? Yep. That just looks like a black hole. <laughs> okay, and open the camera on all the others and tell me what you notice about them. Wait a sec. Now, out of all the cameras, what do you once again notice about the Oppo? It's very similar to the iPhone look. See how you can swipe? It's more similar to the iPhone. So you can swipe yeah. between photos and videos and stuff like that. Anyway, this one, though, has a bigger screen. Well, you can also do that with Oppo if you just tap full screen. If you want the whole, you oh. see? So you can do that, and then that really is full screen. And what about with the iPhone? Oh, no, you can't do that with the iPhone. Oh, okay. As a final little thing now, we'll go, and we'll go on a little walk through the house. The, the house, house we... is not 100% mm. done. It's still We're still renovating their stuff everywhere. Okay. Well, I just want you to film the house holding in your hands both phones, both the Which Oppo one? and the other phone in your hands. So, yeah, let's go, and we'll take them now. Now, walk very evenly together, and just kind of walk through and film what you're seeing. Oh, there's a creepy door. And this is the bathroom that will be tiled tomorrow. Not tomorrow, the next day. Now let's go over here, go for a quick, like, pretty fast walk. This will test image stabilisation. Obviously the iPhone has better image stabilisation out of the box here, and from this freeze frame you'll notice that in order to achieve this, the image coming from the iPhone appears closer, while the Oppo has less of a zoomed in effect. Now we're going to test out beauty mode. So there's your face without beauty mode on, right? Mm -hmm. Let's turn beauty mode on, and what do you notice it does to your face? Oh my gosh, I look... 20 years younger. It gets rid of all your wrinkles and pimples and freckles and it even whitens your face a little bit. Makes me look a bit like Michael Jackson. We'll take a little photo. There we go. So let's see what it does with your face now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like a piglet with the position of your nose. And there we go. See how it smoothens out <laughs> your face? <laughs> you looks, just... I won't look more say. scarier. <laughs> I wouldn't want and to move myself in an back, alleyway. Back to that. What does six do? So there we go. That's look more the... alien-like now. Look at that. <laughs> Might see me on a, on a strange planet. And then I take a photo. There we go. So that was Ben in beauty, mate. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that was the Oppo review. What do you think now of your new phone, Dad? Well, I'm, oh, the, one well, who... just got it. <laughs> I'm the one who tested it out. Okay. I well, do you, think... <laughs> do you I think... Do you like it? There's a picture up there, don't we? Oh, <laughs> that, that was is, like 20... How, how long ago was that? About 20... Uh, that was a couple of years after that boy was born. Okay. That was about 20... Um, Billion years ago. Four, uh, 22 years ago, look. Do you think you would switch to Oppo if Apple got too expensive? Or do you think Apple, there's just too many things about Apple you like that you'd want to stick to Apple for as opposed oh, to going to Oppo? Well, if the price difference was, you know, that huge, I think I would go with the Oppo, but um, at the moment, I'm quite happy with my little Apple phone, which is the cheapest one there is. Well, you can't, you can't get, get it anymore. It was $450, the iPhone SE, when Diana got it. However, now they've gotten rid of that. 
No, okay. I'm just looking at that famous face. No, you've got to... Oh, don't, I don't, don't look at that look face. At that. Look at that terrible look face Look at it there. this way, because that's piglet. Looking up the nose is piglet mode. Oh, piglet mode? Yeah. <laughs> piglet mode. That's they good. should add that new mode. <laughs> Alien okay. mode. Okay, <laughs> anyway, see you next time. If you look good in it, oh. but he looks bad. He looks weird. <laughs> I look all right, whereas he looks weird. <laughs> she, looks, she looks like a princess. I look like an alien. <laughs> Well, as they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We will see you guys next time on OS First Timer. Bye.